What's going on, Leo? This is Jennifer coming at you on DTWJ Life. Hope you're all having a great day. And right now I'm about to do a weekly reading for Monday through to Sunday, uh, the 11th to the 17th, again for Leo. All right, guys. Um, right now I'm picking up a meditation card at the bottom of the deck. Okay, it's at the bottom of the deck. All right, and that is Son of Water Upright. So whether you're a male or a female, you're picking up male water energy, and water is the element, obviously, of sustenance, as you know. Uh, Venus co is conjunct with, um, <clears throat> sorry, sick. If at any given point I pause the video, that's why, because I'm sick and I'm probably, like, sneezing. Um, so, right, it's Venus conjunct with Uranus, which means that there's a vast... Um, opportunity here for you that is going to help you to sustain yourself if you are not doing so already and I think that is freaking fantastic. I love this card for you. Um, uh, hold on a second, okay? <clears throat> okay, Leo, I am back. Let's get into it. We're about to shuffle your cards house style twice. Uh, Actually, three times. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna do it three times. Because I've gone through quite a few signs already before coming up to your video. Oh, to your reading. Two. Alright, we're doing it. Yeah, yes. We are doing it, we are doing it, la dee da da dee da dee We like the body! Yes. We. Alright, that's three. Awesome. Oh god. Excuse me. I'm gonna draw up three cards, <clears throat> and the three cards are going to be your present, your future, and culmination. Hold on just one sec again. Ah, I'm back. All right, spirits, I need three cards, one for the present, future, and culmination for the sign of Leo. Thank you. We got one. Present, okay. I need two more cards for the sign of Leo, future, and culmination, please. Thank you, future, okay. One more card for Leo. Culmination, please. Thank you. For the week of the 11th through the 17th. Okay. Uh, most awesome. Guys, before I go forward, wow, with this reading, I would like you to remain confident as you always do. Keep believing in yourself. Never stop believing in yourself. Hold on one second. Okay, so for your present card, nice. Anytime that you get lost in your mind about something or are upset about something, visit it for a while. And then once you're done visiting it and dealing with it, always remind yourself by saying, I'm back. When you come back from it, I'm back. Okay, always do that. As it helps you to refocus and to stay in the present moment. And uh, in the present time being, we have the card Oasis in Reverse, uh, which is Minor Arcana, uh, this is water. Water is sustenance, it sustains life. So what are we looking at right here? Number six, we have uh, the hexagram or the Star of David. Six points as the symbol. And uh, for the planetary energy, we have moon resting here. So right now, Instead of it being upright and you being in your normal fiery energy, the oasis is reversed because your oasis is normally your fire energy. You're always up in your head uh, in a good way, in a creative way. Um, right now, though, you're going into your recesses. That's what this is showing me. Uh, you're going to be working with lunar energy quite a bit uh, in order to uh, in order to learn a new school of thought. Because right now, Gemini is in the moon, 
from December the 3rd up until the 18th, so that's basically what's happening with you. Uh, instead of being up in your fiery energy or oasis as usual, you're learning a new school of thought. Your subconscious, <coughs> excuse me, um, the moon, water, uh, you're dealing with dreams, uh, you're dealing with uh, watery energy, learning how to sustain yourself from the deep recesses, which could be your subconscious. Hold on again. Didn't I say that once you get into, you know, your mind and what's truly in your mind, not just what you show the world, and you visit it for a bit, for a bit, you gotta remind yourself that you are back by saying, I'm back, I'm present. <laughs> That's awesome. I just need one card to clarify the present moment, uh, Oasis in Reverse. What is Leo learning from their subconscious? What is the new school of thought being taught to Leo? during this week. Sun, rain, and reverse. You're going to be going through a dry period, uh, <laughs> monetarily or emotionally. But what's going to be happening is from that, <clears throat> coming from that are new insights to fill your mind with. You're learning something now. That's what's happening. Yeah. We have, uh, the moon conjunct with Pluto, excuse me. Uh, Oh, God. I'll be right back again. Yeah. The planetary energy is the moon conjunct with Pluto. Uh, moon is lunar energy, water energy, everything having to do with the subconscious, a new school of thought that you're learning this week right now. Um, okay. We have the number five and uh, the pentagram, five-pointed star. And basically what you're doing is uh, learning something from your higher power. Your higher power is teaching you something right now. I'm not sure exactly what, uh, but you are going through a dry period uh, as far as uh, being able to su sustain yourself goes, whether that's monetarily or emotionally, like I said. <clears throat> but you're also being guided, so that's good news. Okay, for your future, you have Son of Water in reverse. Um, there's some fire energy in here, as you can see. And the planetary energy is Venus conjunct with Jupiter expansion. Um, and because Son of Water is in reverse, you're expanding on new relationships that are entering your life right now. Uh, but it is inverted. Um, the new relationships that you're cultivating or that you're denying the cultivation of are what are going to sustain you in your future. So please let them in, okay? Open your mind up a little bit more, okay? Allow Jupiter to expand your mind and expand your social circle um, because more opportunities are going to come from that, okay? That's what's going to turn that frown upside down, all right? Now I just need one card to uh, confirm or not to confirm but to tell me what is coming in for Leo in the future please just one card thank you that's good Ooh. oh <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that fucking thing just flew out sorry <laughs> pardon my French but wow <laughs> Check that out. Ooh. <sighs> Hold on again. So, what we have here, clarifying your future, letting people in, okay, is you have volca uh, the volcano inverted, which means that anything that may make you feel temperamental is going to be there, but your temper's not going to flare up because you're worried about this right now. <laughs> You're worried about the ships that are coming in for you, which are new relationships, expanding your social circle and your opportunities. So you got to keep this chill. <laughs> you got to keep your temper chill for that. Okay, that's what that's saying. Um, and that's a good thing. This is telling me that you're, go you're going to be able to do that in the future. Another card popped out, flew out. Oh my God, it flew out. The Empress, Major Arcana, Upright, Mother Energy. This is beautiful right here, because what this is telling me is that if you're a woman, you're going to be at your highest good. 
you're going to be happy. Okay? You're going to be really happy with the results that you're getting in the future. Because you, you have it in you to open up your mind, to open up uh, your heart, to allow more people into your life. If you're a male, take a lesson from this. <laughs> you're going to need to do that. Okay? You're going to need to do that. And the fact that you have so much chill in your life in the future <laughs> is letting you know that this is going to happen. That, you know, your status is going to be sustained, okay? Despite the um, lack of sustenance said in the past three cards. It's going to be sustained. It's going to happen. You're good. Hold on again. And what did I say about the lunar energy? Okay? You have the, mung, the, the moon, the mung. That was weird. Mung with the bung, the bung, the bung, the bung, the bung, the bung. I don't know why. I am so weird. All this stuff coming through. Um, yeah. The moon. All right. The deep recesses, your subconscious, um, also your wells of sustenance, As conjunct with ascension, which means that in your present moment, the more that you meditate on things that are going on, the more that you are going to ascend into this energy and you're going to become somebody that people will respect and they're going to have to respect you in order to approach you with anything and the beautiful thing is is that this will be turned upside down because you're calm your temper's not flaring up so you're earning respect from people by doing that in your future and this is telling me that you're gaining, you're going to be gaining status. You're ascending, okay? You're ascending. <clears throat> you're evolving. You're growing. And as you grow, you're going to grow with the opportunities that are going to be presented to you through people, okay? Through your network that you're going to be expanding, okay? Hold on again a second. At the moment, <sighs> your culmination is daughter of water. Upright. What did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you? Hold on a second again. Oh, God. Oh, hi. Oof. Sorry. What did I tell you about this water energy being inverted and turning upside down and turning that frown upside down? It's going to happen. This is your culmination. Okay. <clears throat> it's okay. You're fine. Uh, because you will be able to sustain yourself. Look at that. Right here. We got double moon, double action happening. You not only are visiting your deep recesses, your subconscious, and healing yourself, and then coming back from that, I'm back, I'm present, I'm in the moment, but you also have another moon, your higher self, your intuition is being opened up as well as your network is being opened up. You're going to be very highly sociable and you're going to be talking with a lot of people and these people um, <clears throat> are going to help you. With the daughter of water, connecting energy. We have the Empress. You're going to gain respect by opening up emotionally and being human. But without the temper. There's no anger here. You're just going to open up. You're going to be emotional and you're going to communicate your emotions uh, to people after you come back. To let them know what's going on okay and uh, this is going to help you hold on again and through that your 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 status is elevated and you're gonna gain a lot more respect or at least you're gonna have like more like approachable you're gonna have a more approachable uh, persona about you that's good you need that um, one card to Clarify the culmination, please, for Leo. Thank you. They're so wonderful, really. <laughs> Open air inverted. This is an air card. Minor arcana. But it's above five, so six. Got the number six there. With the uh, hexagram. Or Star of David, whatever you want to call it. Okay, the planetary energy here is Mercury conjunct with Saturn, but it's inverted right now. 
So when Mer Mercury goes direct, it's saying that What do you pick up? Because that's what it's trying to say. Let me look at it. <laughs> Either you're going to stop gossiping or somebody else is going to stop gossiping about you when they see um, that you've become this, that you have reached a higher status. <clears throat> the bullshit's going to stop. That's your culmination. Leo, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I enjoyed doing it for you. I really did. Uh, and if you want to book a private session with me uh, for a half hour or an hour, uh, I'll leave my page in the description of this video. Uh, please contact me through there, or if you know me already, contact me through my personal page, uh, Facebook, excuse me, uh, and let me know if you want a private session. I do charge for that, uh, so you know. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay updated as I'm doing these readings every single week. And I will see you on the next week. Take care and blessed be.